right, here we are. What's the show? Uh, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> 21 Soul on the Road. Oh, 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 I thought you were, I thought you were our, our, our amazing title of the show. 20... We'll get to that. Yeah. Yeah, well, now what's the official title? Uh, of the show? Yeah, 10, 10 favorites or something like that? Yeah, 10 for 2018? You know, uh, Lewis's top five of 2018, Fabian's top five of 2018, or AKA How to Piss Off 70 Artists Simultaneously. <laughs> this is we hard. Had a pick five. It's a 25 minute show. You know, we'll, we'll do it again. So, not necessarily our top. You already admitted that you, they aren't really your top. They're just like. They're, well, they're my mm, top. Stuff I didn't pick. Well, top, they're my top uh, picks that I think people snoozed on. Right, so that's my that's my disclaimer. These are great, great songs, but I think people definitely snooze on my top five. That's what I was gonna say. All right, good. So the gist of all this, we came in here with uh, Azuka, Eddie Palmieri, uh, one of my picks. Uh, takes me back to surfing in uh, Rincon, Puerto Rico, and hearing this style of music for one of the first times in my life live. Uh, it's really exciting, and that's what we're doing today. We're playing hooky. Uh, we've had a we're not really playing hooky. We're working. Uh, we set all this up before we started moving everybody so sort of so don't don't do this at, don't do this at home or away from home um, we've been working hard all year today it's 80 degrees in East Philly and down at the shore down the shore so we decided to just jump in the car and get the last good day of the year in October. at the beach it is October 10th yes yep. October 10th 10 10 um, you hear some rattling, see me adjusting, that's because the surfboard straps might be a little loose up there. Alright, Azuka, Eddie Palmieri, you want to pick one? Go ahead, hit the hit the roulette button there. This one right here? Yeah, that one. Okay, let's see what's next. Just keep going. Just okay. hit it like five times, let's see what happens. Is this one of yours? Oh, we went back to the top. Oh, really? There you go. Okay. About that, bring it up. We gotta do this fast. We can't fit 10 songs in to 20 minutes. Oh, for it. Titled Swagism. That's a hard album to pick just one track that I like the most. Really? It's I mean it's real horn heavy. Obviously me being a horn player, I could not not put this into today's set. You know, you hear that Barry Sachs, but the album is littered with like top guys from literally all over the globe that you want to play with. Who's on that? Uh, Barry Sachs. Is it Barry Sachs? Remember they were arguing about that? This <laughs> was it for this track. It wasn't? But, oh, okay. but they were definitely arguing about the Barry Sachs. So this is Sly on, 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 yeah. on Barry Sachs. But, you know, the album has so many great, I mean, look, feature artists, Nigel Hall, Bobby Sparks, Phil Lasseter, Paul Denson, Weedy. Uh, Brandon Taz, I mean, look, the Kamachi Washington, I can go on and on and on. Amazing. The lineup Great is, choice. is just, just silly. All right, while I'm making my choice here and playing it random, I just want to say what just happened off camera. It was awesome as that song came up, a giant jet was flying, landing, uh, kind of flying over the highway, landing at, uh, I guess, Atlantic City Airport while there was a sun shower. So it was a, <laughs> a lot of fun. You got it. Oh, these are yours. I need one of mine. Is this mine? No, that's mine. You know, I, you know, I, I almost, 
pick that one? Pick that one too. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. There's no way this is not gonna make it into this list. A lot of Simpsons clouds out here today. Air is moving around. Hurricanes coming in a couple of days. So it's, it's always interesting before the storm. But this song kind of goes really nicely with the clouds. Yeni nostalgia. Full of soups. Hit it. Oh, you got it. Nelson featuring Vincent Heron on alto saxophone, one of my favorite saxophonists on alto, coupled with a great song and a great melody. There's a quote here from Bandcamp Daily that I want to talk about, that's what I want to mention, mm -hmm. um, from Sharon Nelson, John Nelson's daughter. Yeah. You should not play with love, you should take it seriously. Those listening to this album will see that Sharon and her dad were both serious about not playing around with love. And if you're serious, love means dedication and commitment, then the creation of Don't Play With Love is shining is a shining example of love at the strongest. Wow. It's powerful album, powerful melody, powerful message behind the song. And powerful people, you know, strong people uh, around and behind and with Prince. Uh, you know, who clearly dedicated a lot sacrificed a lot of their own lives and careers uh, to support his in many ways. Um, so, beautiful record. Alright. I feel like it's Wheel of Fortune or something. We gotta, like, go, well, we gotta go back through everything. Alright. We fought over this one, but I picked it. I picked it too. No, I picked it first. <laughs> I picked it first. Yeah, sure. I picked it first. Thank you. 
Everybody miss, I don't care what anybody says to me. From OKC, Oklahoma City, Adam and Kizzy, with their release, Book of Edo, Volume 3. Uh, what can I say about these cats? Uh, first of all, if you haven't met them in person, make sure you do everything you can, because their their spirit is just great. Um, you know, Kizzy has that, that music theater, you know, pop background, pop RB, while Adam has like the gospel, jazz, hip-hop vibe. Husband and wife get together on this album, and uh, in my opinion, this is this is the track. This track's gonna last a long time, and, and, and uh, you know it's interesting in the business now because uh, hold on, lane changing. Uh, <laughs> nope, nope, there was no lane. It just disappeared. Went away. <laughs> uh, you know, music now. Uh, yeah, I guess a lot of it's like you know all about the day it was created or the day it came out. This is a hot song to pop into a playlist. People are going to be discovering this song for a really long time. We all want it to be explosive and to blow up on, on release day, but uh, you know, independent artists have a, have a great challenge with that. So. All right, is it me? It's you. That's not me. That's not. I already did that one. I already did that one. There we go. There's a whole patch of wildflowers over here. Look at that. Planted on the highway, they're just blooming now. The garden state, pink color, almost look like cherry blossoms. Only. Oh, 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 oh,
look at the uh, tracks that I picked, they were all uh, pretty happy, dreamy songs. So it's a, it's a nice contrast to the challenges of life and the <laughs> politics of 2018 in, uh, in, the, in the frightened states of America. Um, I just dig Stephanie McKay's music. This is a song she wrote with her son, who I met up in New York. Great oh. kid. Um, real presence, you know. Um, I just love the way Adrian Harper you know, just makes you wait for his drums, you know. Yeah. And then when you get there, it just feels like. And the, and the yeah. vocal production too, man. We gotta get through. We're getting close to the beach here. All right, let's see. Let's I can see. smell low tide already. All right, hold on. I got something for you. I got something for you. Ah. Yeah, I got it. Get it. Live your fears. Take I this. think the majority of people are actually not living this. We, we got we got microphones falling over. I love it. So this is uh, March on Lakeisha Benjamin. Apple came out earlier, I believe March this year. Um, it's so funny. So my mom goes checks out uh, Gregory Porter and Lakeisha in Philly. Uh, oh, nice. I know, a couple months back ago, and she's taking video and she's like text blowing up my phone like, oh my god, you would love this saxophone player. She's so hip. She's so cool. Just going on and on and on and on. And I'm like. Well, where are you at, Mom? She's like, oh, I'm at, you know, the Gregory Porter show, and there's this girl. I, I don't know her name. And I'm like, Lakeisha Benjamin, Mom? She's like, yeah, that's it. How do you know her? I'm like, she, she's on a rope with me. So, Lakeisha, my mom is the number one fan of you. Uh, just letting you know. Nice. I nice. chose this song because of the message, you know, it's it's uh, uh, from Lakeisha's words. It's a spark of inspiration. Uh, believe in power and positivity. The music video actually uh, features the... PS48 Music Department Program with Grammy Award winning Teacher of the Year, Melissa, I'm, I'm going to say this name, butcher it, Melissa Salo, Salogero? Salogero? I'm Salog not looking at it. Sal yeah. Salogero, that's, that's what it is. Okay. Um, powerful message, powerful visuals with the, with the music video. Check it out on our YouTube channel, 21 Soul. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. So... Shout out to the key show on that. Yeah, I, I, I was going to pick a different track from that album, but... But I picked it first. It. You picked it first, yeah. <laughs> this is, um... We, oh, here we go. Again, another pleasant-sounding song <laughs> to, to ease my mind in 2018. Kave Raskadar, Nekka Stevens. <laughs> Days and nights always felt like this I lie alone while I reminisce Trace the lips that I won't kiss anymore In the middle of the midnight hour Will to pleasure 
like when they produce vocals like that and you can just sort of hear the breath you know you can hear somebody breathing it's it, vocals aren't usually out in front like that as much anymore and that, that's just that's just a shame um Kavi Rastafar uh, I, I have a feeling this record is just going to be something I'm listening to for a long time uh, to come and I think we, we, we're going to have another uh, record from him coming out Ooh. Uh, in 2019 Dope. Um, are we at nine? Are we at ten? Where are we? I, I think I think we each have one more each. I know I have one more. Really? Yeah, yeah, let me see. I definitely have one more. Oh, that's a back the same thing. No, I already did that. So I go out? I did that. I already did that. We already did yeah. that, so it's you, brother. Alright, so right, I'll turn it down and you can zoom through. I'm going to be driving. I just realized that I could actually put this thing in automatic mode and stop using the stick shift. So if I won't upset the microphone. Ca ca cars do automatic mode now? All right, now we're in some... Uh, where there where we are go. you now? There you go. Uh, now we're in some... Uh, we're somewhere... Yeah, <laughs> we got to get this right. Where, how'd you, where'd you get there? I, I, I just kept hitting. What have you before. done? Your library. I got this driver. I got this. You got it? I think so. Yeah, Let's see. I'm going to watch the road. Uh, playlists. I got this. Ten. Uh, ten. That's it. There you All go. All right. All right, so now I'm going to go. I think this is a good one to go out with, by the way. It, oh, kind, of, it kind of just uh, lined up that way. But uh, I'll let you guys listen and, uh, you know, let me know. Leave some comments below and uh, let me know what you think. There you go. Album Party Crashers, Take a Ride, a good way to kind of close this out. You know, I can definitely appreciate the horns, as you probably already know, but that L.A. type horn sound will never die, in my opinion. Uh, L.A. Yamin is featured on this album, Mono Neon, Bobby Sparks, Mark Letiri, Tommy Sims, man, the list goes on. It's just crazy, you know, curation here at Rope It It's just silly, Mr. Marks. We are very <laughs> fortunate. It's been a great year. Uh, you know, it's funny, we're driving back, you know, I don't I don't know how this camera thing's going to look. You can see out the back window or whatever. But if you've been watching all this time, you're now rewarded with a little bit of view of uh, the Great Egg Harbor Bay in uh, Ocean City, New Jersey. Ocean City ranked one of the top beaches in the country, often much to my dismay because I don't want everybody else to know about it. But um, Ocean City was the fake office home. Really? For, for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... When I closed our offices, uh, my, my uh, clothing company out in, uh, hold on, I'm, uh, just wanna, we don't really want to put a, get pulled over in this show. Um, we'll slow it down a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I moved to Ocean City in the summertime and it kind of closed everything down and we had no office. So I pretty much just, uh, I'd get up in the morning, I learned how to surf, I'd surf at, from like five to six, then I'd come back at six and uh, get a bite to eat and get to work. Or if I was thoroughly exhausted, sleep another hour, and then, you know, get to work, work all day on Rope It Up. Wow. Even, even down to when Snarky Puppy Family Dinner Volume 1 came out. Like, right about then, I remember packing pre-orders in the dining room at the beach house. Wow. Like, it was just me. <laughs> I brought the printer with me and a laptop, and I'd just pack up the orders and take them down to the post office uh, right from this town. And that was like, you know... The Phoenix from the Flames at that point with uh, with Robodo. So Ocean City is a special special place for me, and it's kind of you know it's the rebirth of Robodo and wow. a rebirth for me as well. So 
this is going to be great. Um, we can get at least an hour down here. Go out do a little surfing. You going to get in the water? I'm going to watch you get in the water. I'm not getting in the water. No? No. I didn't bring a, uh, a wetsuit today. I hope, hope the water's not too cold. So it might be pretty funny to watch me get in the water. i got to be able to see what's in the water for me to get in the water. You're in it. Nah. Oh, like other things? <laughs> like, yeah, you can just put that out of your features. mind. Just put that out of your mind. Uh, 21 Soul. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Thanks to all of our subscribers. We just hit a, a milestone 20,000 20, subscribers on our YouTube channel. I love it. Now we only need about five times that yep. to, 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 to even get on the map. Right? So share with your on friends. It, with another 80,000 will be under the radar. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we really appreciate everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, uh, thanks for being, you know, the first twenty thousand people in on this thing, because um, we got uh, we got big plans. All right, Fabian, thank you. Boom. Mr. Lester, thank you. Right on the horns.